Okay, um, this is going to show you the dual boot of Windows 7 Release Candidate 1 and Mac OS 10 Leopard 10.5.6 As you can see, this is Windows 7 I'm just going to restart This machine is a um what do you call this? This machine is a Intel uh, IBM ThinkPad T60 Core Duo, not Core 2 Duo, just Core Duo. Mac OS 10 is running vanilla. As you can see it's restarting. Wi-Fi is not yet working because driver is still in development. As you can see, it gives me a to choose OS N. I'm going to Macintosh HD. This is running vanilla kernel 9.6.0. Audio is working through Azalea. Touchpad and keyboard is also working. Mac OS 10 boots pretty fast on this machine. So let's go look at the system profiler. Okay, it's version 10.5.6. I oh sorry. Running a two gigahertz Intel Core Duo, one gigabyte of 667 megahertz DDR2 RAM. More information. It's detected as a MacBook Pro. Two processors detected. 2 MB level 2 cache, bus speed 666 at 667 megahertz, DVD drive, audio, Bluetooth is also working. There's Bluetooth, diagnostics, mm, graphics, Intel GMA 950. Hardware, accelerated core image, and quartz extreme. Um, power. Oh, sorry. Power. System power settings and battery icon. SATA is also working. Okay, um, all the iLife apps are working, iMovie, iPhoto, that's iPhoto, but currently I don't have any photos, so yeah. And this is my movie. <laughs> the two drives are also detected. Safari works, but there is no Wi Fi because drivers for Intel 3945 are still in development. But Ethernet is also working. Yeah. So this is Mac OS X running on a Intel ThinkPad T60. Running the vanilla kernel 
10.5.6. There it is. System version, Mac OS 10, 10.5.6. Kernel version, Darwin 9.6.0. Sorry, but my camera is out of focus. But, yeah. Thank you for watching this video.